Good evening. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, and this is Enlightened Fitness. Ask any fitness trainer worth their salt, and they'll tell you that seven tenths of weight loss is not dependent on the gym as much as it is our culinary decisions. Now, whether you're motivated by health, or kindness or ecology you can't go wrong with the low-fat whole food plant-based diet so here's the deal more people there are much more people who have tried a vegan diet than who have succeeded on a vegan diet why is that I experimented with a vegan diet for close to 30 years before I finally learned how to thrive on it. Let me tell you what I discovered through trial and error and through the advice of my, of my nutritional mentors. I found that the first reason why in the past I failed on a plant-based diet because I was consuming refined foods, you know, as opposed to whole foods. What's the second reason? I was not consuming enough high quality calories. What's the best source of calories for a human? Whole grains, especially brown rice or millet and the like. What's the third reason why for so many years I failed to thrive on a plant-based diet? Too much fat, even healthy fat. If it's an extreme, it's not good for us. Remember, there's a huge difference between eating an olive and drinking olive oil. How many olives go into just one tablespoon of olive oil? Likewise, there's a difference between consuming sesame seeds and drinking sesame oil, or eating almonds versus drinking almond oil. Now, I'm not telling you that you don't need a, a fatty acids. We all do. We'll get them from whole foods. The fourth reason why I failed to thrive on a plant-based diet for so many years was that I was woefully ignorant of my own food sensitivities. I'd like to give you an example. My mouth loves the taste of wheat and it loves the taste of barley. But like many other people, when I consumed wheat and barley, even whole grain wheat and barley, my whole body swelled like a balloon. I looked like I was pregnant, only instead of being pregnant in the lower abdomen, I was pregnant in the upper abdomen. I look like a man with a beer belly. Now, if, you ever, if you're a physician or you're married to someone with a beer belly and you examine a beer, beer belly, it's not flabby. It's pretty firm to the touch. That's because it's really caused by someone being swollen. In my own life, when I stopped consuming wheat and barley rapidly, the swelling went down in my face, and my appendages, and my abdomen. So for myself, being aware of my food sensitivities was crucial. Now sadly, with food sensitivities, there's no shortcut. We have to be very perceptive, and we have to be able to draw a relationship between what we eat and how we feel, as well as what we eat and how we look. But if we're really perceptive, it'll serve us well. Now, I'm not alone. Good old Lama Jigme is not smart enough to invent this diet. Four brilliant, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six brilliant contemporary doctors, five of them MDs, physicians, concur that the low-fat, whole-food, plant-based diet is the diet that we were designed to consume. 
Let me read you a quick um, quote from the China study. Now, it's not really a quote, but it's a quote about the China study found in the wonderful book called, I'm not sure if you can see this, Healthy Eating, Healthy World, which you can order from my website. Wonderful book. Among the key findings from the China study, people who ate the most animal-based foods had the most chronic diseases. Even relatively small amounts of animal-based foods were associated with adverse effects. People who ate the most plant-based foods were the healthiest and tended to avoid chronic disease. Folks, yes, this book is, is not free. There's a ton of free information on my website. Free PDFs, and there's free videos about using water as your beverage of choice, how to use intermittent fasting, how to thrive in the whole food, plant-based, low-fat diet, how to thrive on body weight fitness, how to thrive on um, circuit training. Make use of the website. There's tons of free information, fitness and beauty and health, as well as meditation and spirituality. I thank you for your time and your kind attention. If you live in the Los greater Los Angeles area, I invite you to attend my next series of weekly webinars beginning in September. If you'd like more information, um, write me uh, in the comments section below. If you don't live in the LA area but you would like to set up a private class via Skype and you're really serious about this, and by really serious I mean you've already watched my other videos and you're really gung-ho, then again, contact me in the comment area below the video. I thank you for your time and your kind attention. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Oh, money, pan me here. Bye-bye.